Welcome back to Let's Play Suicoden 2. So, looks like we got in trouble at the gate and are going to be arrested. Why? Well, this is like our second or third time being arrested in this game. What's new? You guys are a big pain in the neck. Cool off here for the night. That's weird, huh? I thought we were perfect. Perfectly horrible, maybe. What? Maybe we could have fooled them if you had tried a little harder. You're the one who overacted. What do you mean overacted? I act like a 28-year-old woman with a 16-year-old boy. Which part was a 28-year-old woman? All of it! Okay, let's ask Chandler. Who is more realistic, me or Nanami? Fine, so who is better? You both sucked. Huh? That's a lie. Chandler, don't put my acting in the same class as Nanami's. Shut up in there! You guys go to sleep! Yeah, exactly. Shut up, Joey and Nanami. Aw. Poor little Pilika. What is it, Joey? Take a look, Chandler. You can see the moon through that window. It's a full moon. A lot has happened since we left, left Highland, huh? Yeah, I don't get to see Beavis and Butthead anymore. Kind of sucks. But at least we don't have class with that horrible Mr. Buzzcut. You and Nami and Grandpa Genkaku may not have been related by blood, but even so, you had a real connection. That was the one thing, the one thing that I wanted but never got. Chandler, do you remember the day you and I met? I didn't know what I should say to you, so I just watched you and Nanami. You talked to me first. So Chandler, do you ever think we'll go back to Kiaro? Don't worry, we'll go back. You're right. When this stupid war ends and things get quiet again, let's go back there. Three of us, me, you, and Nanami, we could fix up Grandpa Genkaku's dojo and make a living teaching his way of fighting. But the important thing is we could live and go on, as long as I don't ever have to join the army again. Yeah, you're telling me. <clears throat> Chandler, I... During the long days I spent with Pilika, Marks, and Joanna after I was saved near Toto Village, that's when I first realized... Realized what was important to me. You see, even though Pilika called me Uncle Joey, I still... I still couldn't protect her. Chandler, I have a dream. To make this land safe again. So that children like Pilika grow up surrounded by the warmth of people that love them. I want to go back to a time like that. For that I'd fight with every last bit of my strength of my body. Hey Sleepy Bones. Hmm. I'm sorry, Pilika. I woke you, didn't I? Yes, you did, Joey! It's late. I'm going to sleep. Chandler... Ha 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 ha! Don't be so gloomy, Chandler, Joey. Hey, it's Flick and Victor. Hey, old man, get us out of here. Hurry, hurry. You know who they are. They are. Let them out. Yes, sir. Just a minute. Ha 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 ha. So you guys are okay? I was getting worried. We've took a little detour, but we're fine. We've took a little detour? Hmm. Somehow you all look a little older or tougher. Well, why don't you go to Leona's new tavern? Everyone's there. It's right near the... Oh, well, just walk around. You'll find it. Oh, uh, Chandler and Joey, meet me in the city hall later. There's something, somebody I want to introduce you to. Me and Chandler? What? I'm going too. It's not fair if just Chandler and Joey get to go. Okay, you little brat. Okay, you can come too. Well, I'll be waiting in city hall. Chandler, Joey, and the tomboy can come. City hall is at the dead end north of here. How rude! Okay, so that was where the prison was, or at least the holding cell, or whatever. 
So let's go around the city of Muse. I think there's something we can find here. Or perhaps we have to go to the inn first. Actually, is the... Oh, cool, the blacksmith's open now. Hey there, come on in. Can we sharpen anything? No, we cannot. Can I embed anything? Let's see. Ooh. Damage 1.5, damage self. That's no good. Should I put the water rune on someone? Restores 5 HP, that's really not a lot. Whatever. Just get out of here. Hey, can I ask you a favor? Ah, uh, here's what I was looking for. Huh? Uh, yeah, sure. Thanks, a bad man is chasing me. Would you hold on to these for me? I'll come get them later, okay? I get two packages. Okay. Now what? Hey, Clive. Where are they? Storm senses them. Moon and star are somewhere nearby. You, did you see a tall woman with blonde hair around here? Uh, I, er... No, I guess not. But she's not getting away from me this time. Okay. Well, let's go. Take these packages somewhere safe. Oh, well, never mind then. Thanks, kid. Here, take this. Yeah, we got sound set number one. Uh-oh, it's Clive! Here comes trouble. Clive! Finally, I finally caught up with you. As an officer of the Howling Voice Guild, I'll see that you pay for your crimes. Can you shoot Gunner? Uh-oh. Out of the way, boy! Don't move <laughs> You won't get away this time. Okay. <laughs> Enough of that. Let's go check out the inn. I guess Lenora's or Leona. What's her name? Leona. Okay. Leona's out here. Okay, well anyway, let's go to City Hall now. So I forget which one is City Hall. I don't, I don't know if it's this or... Okay, I guess this is City Hall. Hello. You need a license to run a business in Mew City. I hope we can get one soon. Our sixth child was just born. We're taking him to the doctor today. So why are you at City Hall? Oh, you came over here. Good. You're all here. You're a little late, but I guess it's okay. She's a very busy lady. Who are we going to meet? Well, you'll find out soon enough. Come on, let's go. Is it Annabelle? You're Victor, right? Please go inside. Meeting room is in the front. Alright, Victor joins our party. Change formation? Sure, why not? I don't think we'll get into too many fights. Hey, that's not the way. Hey, that's not the way. I guess this is the way. Annabelle! Tell them to hurry and decide. Tinto people are always the same. As a messenger, we'll send Fitcher. He won't fail us. Y yes, immediately. As usually, as usual, Lady Annabelle, your judgment is beyond reproach. I don't need your brow nosing. Leave now. I have no time for people whose mouths are faster than their feet. Y yes. Whew. Oh, you came, Victor. I've seen you at work a hundred times, but you still surprise me. So is it true I heard you lost your fort? Yeah, I lost a load more, too. Well, it didn't ha take them long to break the peace treaty. This Luca Blight is a true beast. I'm afraid this war won't end until either the state or the Highland Kingdom is in ruins. He's insane. He's a wolf raised on the same... On the smell of fire and taste of blood, he can't be trusted. So what brings you here? 
I see you've got three children along with you. Yeah. This one's Chandler, this is Joey, and this little tomboy is... Nanami! Yeah, yeah, Nanami. These kids plus another little one named Pilika. Can you take four more? I'd keep them with me, but you never know when war will call. Yeah, you can't take kids into battle with you, but... Joey, Joey Atreides? How do you know my name? There's a country nobleman in Kiara with a son by that name. Isn't that right, Jess? The older of the two sons. He's currently a fugitive from Highland charged with high treason. And you, Chandler and Nanami. Chandler, was your adopted father named Gunkaku? Huh? What? How did you know? How do you know about Grandpa Gunkaku? I heard that Master Gunkaku adopted two children. I think their names were Chandler and Nanami. Master Gunkaku? You don't mean that... Victor, I'll tell them all about it. Until then, Chandler Nanami, is Master Genkaku in good health? Actually, Grandpa Genkaku died last year. I see, so we weren't able to atone for our crimes against him. Atone for your crimes? Yes, well, let's talk about that when we have more time. Right now, I've got to worry about the Highland Army. Jess, I'm leaving these three in your care. Yes, my lady, understood. See you later. Maybe I'll drop in on you soon. I'll be looking forward to it. Okay, I'll be in Leona's Tavern. You guys look around for a while and come back when you get tired. See ya. Well then, Chandler, Joey, and Nanami, feel free to walk around City Hall and even speak with the guards. But do not disturb Lady Annabelle. If you need something, speak to me. Excuse me now, I've got work to finish. Hey, why don't we explore a little? Well, we've already been here. Explore, you're gonna get us in trouble. Don't worry, don't worry, he said. It's okay to walk around. Yeah, what's over here? Very long hallway with a door that will not open. What about over in here? Good day, do you have some kind of petition to file? Yeah. I want to fire those guards that arrested us. If you're here for a marriage certificate, I can help you, and you are? Whew, busy, busy, busy. I hardly have time to breathe. Lady Annabelle is tough on people, but it's good because she keeps us on our toes. I wonder where he went. He was supposed to get permission from Lord Fitcher first. Who? But this is the only size we've got. One size fits all. What are you talking about? These are for youth brigade uniforms. What can we do with these? What is it? Hmm. Chandler, Joey, I have a request. Will you listen? What is it? Luca Blight's army is camped out near the border between Muse and Highland. They'll attack us here in Muse next. I'd like to know much, how much provisions they have with them. We've got some Youth Brigade uniforms to help you sneak in. Chandler, Joey, you're in the Youth Brigade, right? We don't have any other uniforms, so would you do it for us? So you want us to sneak into the Highland Army camp and find out how much provisions they have, is that right? What? Can that be dangerous? Well, um, a little, but it would be a big help for Muse. We could find out how, many, how much provisions they have. Shouldn't it be many? That will tell us whether they're planning a long siege or a quick all-out attack. What about it, Chandler? We'll do it! What? That's dangerous! Really, thank you. You're the pride of Muse. Hey. Here are the uniforms. I guess you know how to put them on. Let's get to Highland border. Follow the road to the northeast. I'll alert the guards at the checkpoint. Good luck. Alright, we got a couple of Highland uniforms. Well, I've got no choice. I'd be worried about you, Chandler and Joey, so I'll have to j go with you. Okay, let's stop by Leona's Tavern and get some others to join us. Chandler, maybe we can finally be of some help, too. What are you talking about? If it gets dangerous, you have to run back here, Joey. Okay. I just like it here because there's lots of space. Okay. So some guy who just likes to hang out in City Hall. 
Well, anyway, that is it for this episode of Let's Play Sui Code N2. Next time, we will see how many provisions Luca's army has. See you next time.